Did you know that your gym clothes can really make or break your workout? The stresses of heat, sweat, movement, and not to mention feeling awkward and uncomfortable in your outfit can really leave you feeling uninspired to go back to the gym. If you feel like your workout clothes are letting you down, you're not alone. So make sure to stick around for today's video where I show you how to find your most flattering activewear according to your body type. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you happen to be new. I'm Isabella, a certified image consultant and fashion enthusiast and welcome here to my channel, Concept 3, where I help you transform your wardrobe, your image, and your lifestyle. In today's video, as part of my body type series, I'm going to show you your best tops, bottoms, dresses, and jackets according to your body type, so that way you can boost your confidence and kick butt every time you step into the gym. This being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. So as the very first step, I'm going to give you a little background on the different styles of garments that are included in the activewear category and the different effects they have on your body. And then right after, I will go over each body type and give you my top picks and how to pair the different garments together. Also, going through the video, if you see any pieces that you like and you need to get your hands on, any of the pictures that have a star with a little photo credit are available through my LTK shop. I will leave the link down below in the description. So when choosing activewear, the top that you wear is extremely important because we're moving around a lot, we might be jumping up and down, so we need a lot of support and we also need styles that are going to look flattering on us. So when you're looking at necklines, you really need to make sure that you are paying attention to whether it is a narrow or a wide neckline. The narrow neckline is going to be very complimentary if you have broader shoulders because it's going to help elongate your torso and kind of balance out with your hips. An asymmetric neckline is going to create a lot of interest and shape and curvature on your body. And lastly, a wide neckline is going to look amazing on someone who has shoulders that are on the more narrow side because a wide neckline visually broadens and adds bulk to the upper half of the body. So next, when it comes to colors and prints, you can really have a lot of fun with this category. You can wear bold styles and prints, top details, and also bold colors. But one thing to keep in mind here is that all three of these categories are going to add volume and interest to your upper half and really kind of downplay your bottom half. So if you are top heavy, broader shoulders, a wider rib cage, and you don't want to emphasize that part of your body, I would steer clear from anything that is too bold and bright that's going to draw attention to that part of your body. Another detail that a lot of people don't think about when shopping for sports bras and activewear tops are the straps. And essentially, you can either have thin straps, medium straps, or thick straps. So if you are looking to de-emphasize your shoulders, then I would go for a thick strap. And if you're looking to show off your arms and, you know, your more inverted triangle body shape, then the thin strap can also be a great option for you. So next, we're gonna move on to bottoms. And this is a category where there are really so many options from leggings to shorts to skirts, you name it. It all depends on your comfort level and also what type of physical activity you are doing. The one thing that I like to start with when choosing bottoms is obviously the rise. And the rise is essentially how far up the waistline comes to your belly button and to your natural waist. You can either go for a low rise, a mid rise, or a high rise. It depends on what type of look you're going for. And number two, it also depends on your body type and therefore what you're going to need to feel comfortable and feel like everything is staying together when you're at the gym. In terms of which rise to go for, if you are more petite and you're not super curvy, you can definitely get away with a low rise. However, if you are on the curvier side, you want to kind of have more support in the tummy, the hip and the butt area, I would definitely go for a high rise. So next, moving on to leggings. In the world of yoga pants, there are so many options from skinny to boot cut, even to flared. And here, I really like all three options and they work well for all body types. But the one thing that you need to pay attention to is if you have broader shoulders and more narrow hips, 
The skinny legging is definitely going to emphasize your hips a little bit more, whereas the boot cut and the flared cut will balance out a little bit better with your shoulders. So now you might be thinking, okay, I wanna wear shorts. What are some styles that are gonna work for me? The fitted short is notorious for being skin tight and showing everything, showing your butt, your hips, and all that good stuff. So if you're not comfortable with showing everything off, this might not be a great option for you. On the other hand, a loose short is going to be more comfortable and more flattering on the general population because it gives you a bit of space to breathe. And when you're doing exercises or you know, any sort of sport, it's going to give you a little bit more coverage and just be flattering. So essentially when choosing skirts, you need to keep in mind that you can choose either a more fitted or a more flared skirt. And the fitted skirt is going to show off your hips a little bit more. It's not gonna hide anything. So if you have hips that are on the narrow side, you might not want to opt for this sort of style. And on the other hand, the flared skirt is going to add a lot of volume and width to your lower half. So this is a great option if you have narr narrower hips or if you wanna draw attention to the lower half of your body. So far, if you're enjoying this video and you're learning something, make sure to go ahead and click the like button so that it reaches other people and can help them choose their best active wear as well. All right, that's it. Let's get back into the video. So when people think of activewear, a lot of the time they don't think about dresses, but nowadays, whether you're playing tennis, golf, or going on a walk, or just running errands and you wanna look sporty, people wear dresses all the time. So it's important to know which styles are going to be the most flattering on you. So essentially, when looking at dress styles within the activewear category, you can either have a more fitted or a flared look. And the fitted look is going to be amazing if you want to emphasize your hips and you know your lower half of your body. On the other hand, the flared look is going to be great because it really camouflages the hips and balances out well with the shoulders. So essentially, the flare dress is going to be a great option for someone who wants to add a bit of volume and interest to the bottom half of their silhouette. So we finally reached the last category of activewear and that is jackets. And you might not think of jackets when thinking of gym attire, but depending on where you live and what type of activity you're doing, especially if it's outside, it's really necessary to make sure you stay warm and snug and cozy. So essentially, when you're looking at jackets, you can either have a slim fit or a more bulky fit. So a slim fit is going to often have thinner material and it's going to really highlight your body shape and it's not going to alter anything. However, if you choose to wear a more bulky jacket, such as a puffer jacket, it's going to add a lot of volume and width to the upper half of your body. So depending on the temperature and if it's necessary, there are certain body shapes that really don't benefit from this sort of fit, such as an inverted triangle or a body shape that has broader shoulders. A few different styles that I see really popular now with an activewear include voluminous styles such as puffer jackets, tapered styles, and also cropped or hip length jackets. So depending on the type of look you want to go for and also your body type, you have a lot of really great options when it comes to jackets. You just need to pay attention to how you style them when wearing bottoms. So I see a lot of you guys watching my videos, commenting, but there's one problem, you are not yet subscribed. So if you're not already part of the family, make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And along with that, hit the notification bell down below so that you don't miss any of my videos. I make videos twice a week, so make sure you are here to witness everything. So finally, we've reached the point where you all have been waiting for. How do we style these unique pieces according to your body type? Well, we're gonna go ahead and start with the inverted triangle and show you what to do and what not to do when styling activewear. So as an inverted triangle body shape, you're characterized by having broader shoulders and narrow hips. So when choosing how to pair your activewear, I would definitely go for narrow necklines and avoid wide necklines because the wide necklines are going to really stretch your upper half, making your shoulders look broader than they actually are. However, if you do wanna go for a wide neckline, instead of pairing that with a skinny legging, I would go for a flared or a bootcut legging or even a flared skirt or a relaxed fit short. 
So next we're moving on to my body shape, which is the pear. And the goal when styling activewear pieces for this figure is really to balance out the silhouette by adding more volume, interest, and you know, more of a dynamic element to the top half to balance out beautifully with our hips. When pairing activewear items together, it's so important to remember to really take advantage of wider necklines and styles that are going to cinch in your waist while showing off your hips. If you want to go for more narrow necklines, make sure to remember to wear leggings that are on the more narrow side or more fitted shorts and skirts. Moving on to the rectangle body shape, when styling activewear for this figure, some of my favorite styles really include items that are going to add interest, curvature, and a lot of softness to your silhouette. So essentially, when you choose workout items, you want to try and choose tops that have a lot of curvature, such as v-neck tops, scoop neck tops, and avoid anything that is boxy, such as a square neckline or a batu neckline. However, if you do decide you want to wear more of these boxy and square sports bras, I would definitely always try to pair it with a flared skirt relaxed shorts, and flared leggings. So next, for the hourglass body shape, you guys have it the easiest because your proportions are already so balanced. But essentially, when choosing your best active wear, you wanna highlight your curves and really show off that hourglass shape. So when pairing garments together, I would go for a V-neck or a scoop neck, and these are really going to elongate your silhouette and make you look taller and leaner. And also, if you want to go for a square neckline or something that is also a bit wider, you can go ahead and do that and freely choose a skinny legging, a flared legging, or anything that is going to really add interest to your bottom half. And now lastly, for the apple. So when styling garments within the activewear category, you have to be really careful to make sure that you are getting the best out of these items. So essentially, when styling the different pieces, when it comes to sports bras, I would go for pieces that have more support and definitely pieces that come down at least midway around the tummy area, if not full length. And then when choosing your best leggings, I would always go for a high rise, whether you are looking at leggings, shorts, or skirts, because this is really going to give you the support that you need. And it's going to camouflage your midsection a little bit better and just make for a more harmonious overall gym look. So based on all of these suggestions that I gave you according to your figure, what new pieces will you be trying in your activewear wardrobe in the near future? go ahead and let me know in the comments below. After all of this information, if you still need some guidance and you would like to do an image consultation, you can go ahead and book that by reaching out to me at concept 3 outlookcom Make sure to book soon because spots are filling up. This being said, thank you so much for watching and as always, stay safe, stay smart, and stay leveled up.